Hi, my name is Kelly Booth. I'm sitting here with Darlene Massey, and she is a web designer that um, I think is somebody that you would really like to meet. Um, I think she's someone that you can trust. I know she's someone you can trust. Um, and that's that's a, yeah, I know. I've dealt with you long <laughs> enough. I know, and I've dealt with a lot of web designers. Um, there's a lot of people out there that are going to promise you things that they can do for you, but they don't quite follow up. And, and Darlene's the one that follows up, and she's a type A personality when it comes to getting things done. And <laughs> I think she's the one that you need to, to, uh, oh to, to get with. So wow, do we need to say any more? <laughs> no, I love you. That's the end of the interview. Oh, no, you've really? done a lot, so much for me, and okay. a lot of people that I know. Okay. So I, I've, got, I've got some questions for you. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know that there's, there's there are websites that can be for um, purpose on purpose. Mm -hmm. um, some people even do blogs or websites that people are selling products. Right. Um, marketing. Tell me something. Tell me other reasons why people would have a website or 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 what types of websites do you do? Do you do them all or can you give us a little bit? I I can help with all of them. Really, what I want to do is get with a person and find out what is their Thing that, what's their mission that they're trying to do? They're, are they trying to sell a product? Are they just do they are they trying to get a job and they just want a website so they can refer people to them? Uh, you know what what is it they want to accomplish? And then we look at that and then start figuring out where to go from that. Uh, one of the first things you want to do before you do any designing before you pick colors is you want to do what's called a keyword search for the search engines. This is the Google search. The reason you want to do that is it could, it could figure into how you name your site, what's going to be your name. It's going to figure into all the titles of your site. You're going to want to put it in your content in the right way. Uh, and this is important and you do not want to start building the website before you know this. To give you an idea, this is a behind-the-scenes thing that I do as a designer. Each page on your website is named, just like a Word document you would name. However, I'm going to give it a really long name, like I'm going to say, About Kelly Booth, Journalist Interviewer. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to do that whole long thing. And even though it's a little more work, what happens is when Google searches your website, it sees that entire title and goes, oh, and then it starts looking even more and then it sees the keywords in it and you're going to come up sooner. Mm -hmm. So that, that drives the beginning part of a website. So what's one of the things I do is I want to do what's called a keyword search. Mm -hmm. Then when the person writes their content, they know, oh, I've got to use these words. I don't want to use them in the right way. Mm -hmm. The designer's going to put them in different places. And okay. So that's a start. You don't want to start and then go back and go, oops, we have to change this. Oh, we have to change that. Right. You're backpedaling at that point. Right. So. Well, that makes sense. Okay, now when you're doing this, mm -hmm. um, can I sit down with you and say, you can go through the keywords with me. And oh, I understand, yes. I understand the keywords. I understand that when you're saying, because I want my, my personal, my business or whatever to come up, you know, first, second, third page or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we can go through those keywords. I can go, well, maybe I want to sell, you know, or I, I want to promote this. Can we add these keywords? And then you can say, yeah, your name to it. This, right. You're going to guide me through this, correct? Right. Well, I'm so, going to have to talk with you to get what keywords we're going to be looking right. for. Right. And we're going to do a thing. I'm going to give you a little bit of information. Mm -hmm. It's called long tail keyword search, mm -hmm. which means it's a phrase. Okay. That's really what it means. And I might say, like, if we talked about coffee pots, and you know, do you want to do coffee pot maker, or are people searching for coffee pot brewer? or best coffee pot brewer for every day. Mm -hmm. You see, right. now you're going to, and if you're putting coffee maker on your website, you're not going to come up. But if you're putting coffee brewer and put different things up, you have a much better chance okay. than of coming up in the searches okay, for what you're sense. doing. Well, tell me this. What makes you stand apart from other web designers, do you think? Well, part of it is I do take into consideration that most web designers, they just want to do a pretty page and that's it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no websites, you've got to think about this keyword because how I work the pages and how I link them is important mm -hmm. to Google, the kind of like this silent visitor. Right. Uh, the other thing uh, is that because I have an artistic edge, I'm going to make it look good, but I'm not going to go ridiculous with 
color type. I'm still going to make it readable. In other words, I'm an artist, but I have a very strong engineering streak. And so for me, it's all about looking good, clean, professional. Is it readable? That's great. I love the fact that you're an artist, but you have that, you know, you, 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 yeah. you, you know, you've got that engineer mind. That that's right. a fantastic balance. Yeah. And it sounds like the websites are, are either you can read them as a magazine, mm -hmm. or they're gonna whatever page is gonna come up depending on what the keyword is right. that they put in. So you've got two ways of, at well, least I see, looking at at a website. And I'm not, I know, don't know much about websites. I'm learning a lot through Darlene, and I'm loving it. I'm so far behind her. I want her to teach her teach me a lot more. Okay. Um, yeah. but I'm kind of getting it, and I'm, sure. I, you know, and another question. I know you have to have pet peeves about other website designs and yeah. how they are people kind of um, maybe manage other people's websites. Can you tell me a little bit about what, what yours yeah. are? Yeah, one of my pet peeves is when people design links and this you see this more with older designs and oh I use such and such program and it just automatically designed my site. Mm -hmm. It puts the links so close together mm -hmm. and then it underlines them and that is now considered old design. Mm -hmm the underlining for a link. People know now what a link looks like. And, okay. But to have them so close together, you're sitting there trying to get the cursor. I do this and I go, darn, I just picked the one, but that's not the one I wanted. So that's one of my pet peeves is just poor design. Having everything bunched, having so much on a page that you're like, oh my gosh. And then of course having pop-up ads all over the place. You know, I That is so rude. I, it's rude. And I, I just, I don't know if you want to sell something, but don't insult your visitor. Right. It's all about your visitor. So you want for it to me to see it so it's so tight you can't see it. Then then my second pet peeve is there are people like I use Dreamweaver. It's a professional product made by Adobe. Mm -hmm. And but uh, like a mechanic, would you want to have a mechanic working on your car that could hook your car up to a computer and tell him what was wrong and then he just sent it off to a mechanic and he never opened the hood and looked. Well, in the Dreamweaver world, we call it looking under the hood. Mm -hmm. I learned, I took a whole year just to learn how to code mm -hmm. from scratch, typing. And I can look under the hood and see what Dreamweaver is doing and go, oh, I don't really want it to do it that way. And I'll go in and manually mm -hmm. retype the code. Mm -hmm. And so that means, you know, I'm just, I'm looking at what it's really doing. So you've got that engineer again coming in behind and looking yeah. at the website. So that, that's the background going that's on. The that's the background. That's what we see on the website. That's the background That's going the background on. going okay. on. Okay. But I'm not just relying on the program to do it for me. Right. I'm aware. And, and because of that, I can take other programs, say if you want, you know, a form, and I know how to insert them in the right way to appear right. on the page where you want it, to uh -huh. function the way you want it. And if it isn't working that way, I know it has something to do with the code, and I'm okay. going to go in and look at it and say, okay, yeah. we've got to fix this. And then how do you stay up to date with um, updating websites? Because I know, you know, this is it's constantly changing. It, it is. is it, what do you do? What, well, one of the first things I do is I have a, a newsletter that is just for search engine. Mm -hmm. I get that once a month, and it is several pages mm -hmm. of reading. And the guy's on the cutting edge, uh, mm -hmm. knows what Google's up to. Mm -hmm. uh, like one thing I know is Google actually, besides keyword search and a whole computer program looking at a website, they now have people looking at websites, wow. judging websites, and wow. not many people are aware of that. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's one of the things I do. Another thing is I get another, uh, she sends out about two or three times a week just on programming for websites. Mm -hmm. She talks about Dreamweaver. She talks about the programs, trends, mm -hmm. everything, and I follow that. Mm -hmm. The other thing I do is I subscribe to uh, Adobe's uh, intellectual uh, library that has all kinds of tutoring mm -hmm. uh, videos that I can watch. And then I'm actually getting ready to upgrade my Dreamer to the latest release, so I keep staying on top of things. Well, you are a very busy lady then. Yes, I'm busy. I'm busy, busy. but if you get the right people, and then I have a lot of people that uh, I check code with, mm -hmm. a lot of, uh, there's a lot of resources, and I found a couple that are very, very valuable, and uh, so I check with them on latest trends on what to do about forms and so mm -hmm. forth. Well, let me ask you this, because I, I think 
I don't know, I've checked into people doing websites for me before and I thought they were outrageous as far as maintaining my website. Mm -hmm. If I wanted the slightest thing done, it was, I, I, I just felt like they charged me a lot to maintain when I'm, I'm not a genius with the mm -hmm. computers, but I know it doesn't take that long. Mm -hmm. well, how do you, can you kind of tell me how you maintain someone's website? Or do you charge by the hour or page or? Uh, what I do is I will, ch if it's simple changes, I charge by 15 minute oh, increments. You're kidding. I have <laughs> never heard of that before. Well, if you're just changing wow. a phone number yeah. or a couple of things, it's going to take me, I mean, it sounds silly. It might take me a minute or two to do it, but I've got to go in, open up the program, go to the site where everything's being right. hosted and check and make sure it's showing right. Okay. So once you get done, you've spent 15 minutes. Uh, but, you know, I don't see, a lot of people charge by the hour, but I can't see that if you're only spending exactly. 15 minutes. Exactly, and, and I've never, ever run into anyone that did not charge by the hour. Yeah. That's, a, I, that's amazing. All right, tell me this. Why are we doing this video today? Why was it so important for you that we do this? I wanted to give people an idea of talking with me where my ideas, what my philosophy was, and to know a little bit more about me. And I guess one of the things is everybody's got a dream that's, and or something they're working on. And in this day, often you need a website. Yeah. And so that's what I want to do. I want your dream has a website. Mm -hmm. And that's why I named my site Dream Space Design, because mm -hmm. that's for you. Well, that is excellent. Now, I do have a question. Mm -hmm. I know that we can get your um, the website on the computer. Can we also get it on the smaller um, right. note? Uh, what are they? I don't know what they're called. The tablets Thank and you. the mobile. That. Right. That's why I am uh, getting ready to upgrade okay. to Dreamweaver Six. Uh, yes, the sites show up now, mm -hmm. but with that there's a little bit more easier way to program mm -hmm. uh, and you can actually program it's like having three different sites yeah. okay. uh, but there's an easy way to get it to display properly and I know if anybody can do it you can do it yeah I, I've <laughs> seen your work it's great it's <laughs> really great okay okay thank there you go, guys and this is Darlene Massey and I, I highly recommend her thank you thank you so much for listening